Yo. Hello, how are you? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. In my big intro leading up to you. Uh, oh, Palfu, everybody. This is, this is Palfu. Uh, uh, in my big intro leading up, I was trying to explain to people in a um, kind way the differences between Vancouver, BC and Vancouver, Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah. Same, same name, a lot of differences. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you been to BC before? I have. I have. So I, 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 I grew up in Seattle. And uh, so we would go up all the time. It's one of the most nice. beautiful places in the world. Yeah, I love it. BC is amazing. Is, is that where you are right now? Yeah, I'm blessed to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, how's how's lockdown been, man? Have you guys been? Have you what? Have you guys been locked down? Like, have you been spending the last month or two? Uh, yeah, it's been like not. It's not as bad as the states, though. I don't think so. Yeah. Like, we're we're starting to reopen a lot of stuff too, like parks this week, and I think are opening back up. Cool. So, have, you, have you been going out and about a lot? You've been mostly staying in. Uh, I've been doing like hikes and stuff every so often. Um. But yeah, but like we, I've been inside for most of it. Cool. How's it yeah. feel? Um, obviously, uh, um, uh, the song that we've been playing now for a while, "Copy for Your Head," uh, is uh, uh, has been experiencing success now for uh, 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 a while, well before this whole lockdown stuff got started. But it certainly jumped mm -hmm. the level in the last couple of months. Is it weird feeling like there's all this stuff happening with this song out there, and you are stuck kind of in the same spot right there? How's that been for you? Yeah, no, it's definitely really weird because, like, I see all the numbers going up and, mm -hmm. like, playing on the radio and stuff, but then, like, I'm not able to travel or, like, perform it anywhere, so it's it's pretty, it's, like, rare, like, most, I feel like most musicians haven't had that before. Yeah, 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 it's definitely, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a fun time, but also it's, like, a what should I be doing time, and what, what, what have you been doing? Have you been doing, like, work stuff? Have you been making music at all in, during this time? Yeah, I've been trying to like stay uh, productive and make music every day. Um, so I've been, yeah, I've been working on music every day. Then I've also, I started skateboarding. So uh, that's, that's going pretty fun. Uh, How's it going? That can be, that can be fun, but also like now's not the time you want to fall and go to the hospital, dude. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like when I was younger, I'd try it, but then I'd give up because it's so hard. And I was like the, I was like, like, I've always thought it was cool. And that's like the one thing I wanted to learn for a long time. Mm hmm uh, I was also like kind of scared to get injured though back then because like I'd also play other sports like soccer and basketball. Yeah, gotcha. But like now I don't really play sports, so I'm I'm fine if I get injured. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can you can still do what you do and have a cast on your leg or. or yeah. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, talk to us about your background making music, man. It was actually kind of this is not something you've been doing since you were three years old. Seriously, you kind of started kind of later in high school. Is that right? Yeah, uh, I learned how to play like the drums when I was two. That was kind of like my introduction to music. Uh -huh. And I started taking it serious in like grade 12. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I started posting songs on SoundCloud. Sure. And, and like trying to release regularly and grow my fan base and stuff. Absolutely. And uh, things, things have gone well. Uh, how do you want me to say the name of the song? Obviously, the name of the song is Deathbed. We've been presenting it as, as Coffee for Your Head. Is there is there one that you prefer? Uh, no, I, I don't care. Like, I mean, the original name for it was Deathbed, but then we had to change it for radio stations. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go with the original, man, uh, and, and call it what it was meant to be called. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit the story uh, of that song. You finding the Biba Doobie sample, you kind of putting it out together, and then, and then noticing that it was performing and, and kind of taking off. Yeah, uh, so I found the beat on SoundCloud, and I didn't even know who Biba Doobie was at the time, mm -hmm. and like I just heard her voice on the sample, and then so I asked the producer who it was, and they said it's Biba Doobie, and I mm -hmm. looked her up, and uh, she has like a lot of good music herself, and she was like quite, she was quite bigger than me when yeah. we first started it, so um, I, I tried to get a hold of her and like contact her and ask if I could have permission to use the sample or whatever, but uh. She was like too big, so she wouldn't reply. So then I had to get uh, like a bigger label to help me out get the sample cleared and stuff. Sure. Uh, what's your relationship with her now? Have you guys been in contact? Like, how's that? Uh, we've DM'd a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. I haven't met her in person yet, but hopefully one day. That'd be gotcha. Good. gotcha. Big announcement for you this week. Uh, the EP's coming out. Was it mm -hmm. Friday, right? Yep, Friday. Girl. How many of these songs have been released? How many have not? How, how many are, are brand new? Um, how long have you been working on this? Uh, we've released three so far, and then there's three new ones on the EP. Cool. Uh, yeah. How about the Blink-182 remix uh, of Deathbed? How did that come, come about? 
Uh, well, like they were like my number one band or artist that I want to collab with. So I found out they were signed by the same label I'm signed to. Mm -hmm. So then they kind of just like put us in contact and apparently they liked Deathbed. And so they remixed it. So I was awesome. Was it, was it all three of them? Was it Mark? Was it Travis? Do you know, or? Uh, it's just Mark and Travis that remixed it. Cool. Yeah. It's awesome, man. They are, they, they are good dudes. It did not surprise me one bit that they heard the song were mm -hmm. uh, excited about the song and, and did that. They are those types of guys. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I was They're really, good. I was really happy about it. Have you noticed uh, if people's reaction to the song or interpretation of the song the last month or two since all of the COVID stuff has been happening uh, has been different than beforehand? Because you can listen to that song uh, one way in the world that we live in now versus what it was a couple of months ago and maybe interpret it a different way. Have you, have you noticed the difference with that at all? Um. I, I'm not sure to be honest. I feel like the the like coronavirus has definitely had like an effect on it because like people are scared of it and stuff, and like people know people that are dying from it. So, so it's probably helped it out quite a bit. Well, yeah, sure, a absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. cool, man. Well, you you've been safe, your family's safe, everybody's good. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, congratulations on uh, the EP. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, man, we're excited about that. We are obviously very, very excited about Deathbed. And uh, we're hoping things get back to normal sooner rather than later so we can yeah. do this properly and we can see the live show. How much have you, how much have you played live? Is that the plan right now? Were you supposed to be doing live stuff right now? Yeah, I would be performing and probably touring the States and stuff like that. Um, I played one show in Texas like a year ago, like when I kind of first released Deathbed. Uh -huh. And there's only like 100 people that came out to it, I think. So yeah. like... It wasn't too big, but it was like a good introduction to it. Cool. So now when I now when I perform in the future, hopefully there's more people. <laughs> yeah. Well, no doubt about that for sure. Um, yeah. Did you did you enjoy it? Did you do enjoy kind of presenting the music live? Yeah. No, it was really fun. I, I had a great time doing it. Good man. Cool. 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 Mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Uh, appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, Be safe. Enjoy Vancouver. The yep. beautiful air and beauty and everything about it's the greatest for sure, my man. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Have a good one. Have a good day. See ya. Absolutely. See ya.